Hey, good afternoon everyone. This is Gene from ZeroEffortTrading.com. What we're going to do today a video of is how to set up your domes for the live trading. Uh, first you're going to need to go to your Ninja Trader Control Center. Okay, when you open up Ninja Trader, you'll see the Control Center pop up. And we need to open up a dome. Okay, so you go to File, New, Dynamic Super Dome. That's the dome you want to use, not the level 2. Click on that. That's going to open up a new dome for you. Okay, We need the dome for you to trade on uh, in order to take the trades or trade the long sim or in real time with us. So here's the first dome. And all you're going to do is you're going to just copy exactly what I have on here. You're going to set the order to one contract. And you're going to put down here in quantity target one with a stop loss of 10 ticks and a profit of 10 ticks. When you have that in here, you're going to see a stop strategy, which is going to be set on none. When you open it up, you're going to set it to custom. And it's going to open up a second window. Okay, when you do that, you're going to hit the profit trigger, which is going to be set to 8. Okay, when it hits an 8 profit trigger, it's going to move your stop to break even. Okay. This is so that if you get within eight ticks, you know, profit, we're looking for ten, only two more ticks, it doesn't come back and you don't lose any money. Next we're going to use a step one stop loss. So click that button and then put step one. What we're going to do is we're going to move to four. Step frequency, we're going to move to one. Don't click the button. And profit trigger at nine. Okay, and what this is going to do is when this goes to 9 ticks profit, it's actually going to move you 4 ticks in profit on the dome. So, should you come back down, you'll at least make $40 on a trade. You won't make the full 100, but you're not going to lose any money, and you'll take $40. Okay, and just click OK. Okay, now that you have that, go here where my mouse is into the empty space and right click. You can see Manage ATM Strategy Templates. Click on that. Okay, here type in the name that you're going to use for your template. I don't care what you call it. Mine's 10 because I know it's a 10 and 10. So that's what I'm looking for. And just click Save. Okay, so when you start trading with us, you're going to have two domes open. But that's the first dome you're going to have open. Now let's do the second one. The second one, again, you're going to go to New. And you go to Dynamic Super Dome. And we're going to open up another dome, your second dome. And we're going to do the same thing. Except this time we're going to do order quantity 2. Now, if you don't want to take the risk and trade two contracts, leave it on one. Okay, you'll make half the profit we do, but there's nothing wrong with that. Be safe. Use proper money management. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, because we have two targets, we're going to have one... Correction. We're going to have one target... And we're going to use a 20 tick stop. Okay. And we're going to use a 20 tick take profit. Okay. And custom's going to be on none. This is either going to make you two $400 or it's going to cost you $400. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click again in an empty space. Go to manage ATM templates. And we're going to name it. Okay. Put a name in there 20. Okay, click Save. Okay, that's it. Now if you bring up two domes, okay, and you take a look at them, if you click Find the Name 10 or 20, you see it automatically sets your Stop Loss and Profit Target to 2020. And if you set this one to 10, you got a 10 and 10 with a customized strategy. Now you're ready to trade. Okay, so what, what will happen is this. Okay, hold on, I'm going to put some data in here for you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Also, you want to make sure, sorry about that, 
when when we're trading that you have this contract in your instrument manager the CL611 because this is what you're going to be placing your trades on how you do that is very simply go to tools go to instrument manager here where it says type click on futures click search okay scroll down until you see the CL contract right here light sweet crude click on it make sure it expires 611 because that's the current contract month and it says NYMEX and move it over and it will move it into your instrument management list once you do that click OK okay when you do that you should be able to put up in your dome and have them both in your dome and I'll show you the, the replay data here okay there you see the data moving okay and there you see we have a, a sell order I just put in this is on market replay data and it has a 20 tick profit and a 20 tick stop there's your 20 tick profit it's green it's automatically in there for you and your 20 tick stop is up there okay there you go and that was trading a one lot on a 2020 if you had a two lot minus minus commissions okay so there you go Okay, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope this helped. If you have any other questions, just email us. We're glad to help you to call you or answer your questions.